What's going on guys, my name is Connor and today I have a review for you guys on the Louis Vuitton Monogram Chain Necklace, alright? So there are a lot of different Louis Vuitton chains out there, some are going to be completely authentic, some are going to be completely custom, some might be an authentic pendant put onto a regular chain necklace, but this was one of the great additions to the jewelry collection by Louis Vuitton designed by Virgil Abloh that I thought definitely needed a mention and a review for you guys. I couldn't really find another one on YouTube, but I'm gonna be going through the whole unboxing process with you guys as this is completely brand new. And so if you guys enjoy, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And without further ado, let's get right into the unboxing. All right guys, so just before I begin unboxing, I just wanna tell you guys that the retail cost of this necklace was 925 US dollars. And most of the items that I review on my channel are really, really limited and really, really sold out. But this item surprised me. I got it when it first came out, but right now I just checked the store and it's still in stock. Um, hence why the market value of it is somewhere around 800 to $850 ish. Um, I believe StockX by it now is about 900 and the highest bid is about 800. But yeah, so hopefully you guys kind of have a gist of market as I unbox it. But here is obviously the Louis Vuitton box. You know, I'll put it next to my head for a little size comparison. It's really, really small, um, obviously because it's just a little necklace. But nonetheless, a nice box. It's obviously just going to have this little blue tab that you're going to pull out right here. And then you're going to be able to get into, caught it louis vuitton serial tag so here is basically the equivalent of a rolex serial tag so it'll have the reference number right there as well as well as the serial so if you ever go to a louis vuitton store and tell the associate hey i need an m let me read it to you guys m64196 they can easily type it in their system and pull out that exact item it's just kind of in a reference number as they are for rolexes Kind of like that for Louis Vuitton because obviously Louis Vuitton will have a bunch of different key balls, a bunch of different necklaces in this situation with their um, jewelry collection. And so this is how they uh, sort them out and find the exact one that you're looking for. So this one specifically is, looks like it's made of palladium, it says on here. But let me show you guys. This is a little tag that went around the necklace when it was first purchased. And that is what held the serial tag, I guess you can call it to the necklace and then you're gonna have the little receipt right here not a cheap purchase i'll just give you guys a little sneak peek because i'm not sure if i can show the full receipt because it might have some of the details but you guys can see it looks like a thousand seventy was spent at the store one thousand seventy so not cheap whatsoever and so some of you guys might have noticed that there looks to be two receipts right here and that is because this was bought from holt renfrew which is a um, retailer of Louis Vuittons. And so they are a little bit more expensive than Louis Vuitton. Like I said at the beginning, this retails around 925, but this retail, this retailer sells for 1070. And I believe my guy that got it got it in Canada. So maybe there's a price gap there. Maybe they're not that much more expensive, but nonetheless, it's still gonna be somewhere between 925 and a thousand ish if you guys are looking at it in USD. So somewhere around there. But let's a quick look at the receipt so you guys can kind of see. It's not cheap. Um, it doesn't even really look like there were taxes paid on this. Um, yeah, I don't know how that worked out. Maybe that was just the total. But inside of the box, you're gonna be able to see the Louis Vuitton dust bag right here. I'll set part of the box to the side, taking that right out. There's not really anything else in here. And I'll just give you guys a quick look at the dust bag. You guys can already hear the chain probably. And it's just gonna open it up like such, fold it open and pull out the chain. Boom. We'll set the little dust back to the side and give you guys a quick look. Because this is such a detailed necklace, I want to make sure you guys can see like the monograph engravings throughout this necklace as I go through it. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys can get a good look at it. So like I mentioned at the beginning, it was made completely of a, sil a silver metal. Specifically, it's gonna be palladium. Um, all the monogram that you guys are seeing throughout is not um, added on. It is completely engraved into the necklace. So it's not really gonna go anywhere unless you really, really 
buffed it or I don't even know what you would do but looking closely it just has the LV as well as little signature LV mark right here and honestly this is probably my favorite necklace from the collection uh, those of you guys who have seen the full-on collection you guys know that there were uh, bracelets necklaces a few other items but there were variations that were very very colorful some of them had the little crystals like the crazy green purple blue whatever else and those are cool just so you there's just while i'm on the subject i'll tell you guys that those ones were a little bit more but this is a standout necklace that you can see the monogram on that doesn't have to be that loud like those necklaces you cannot wear with anything i'm telling you guys anything unless you guys are wearing like jeans and a white shirt or you guys really have it like that to where your outfits will go with something like that those items are so hard to wear um but this necklace i mean if you're just putting it on right now i'll show you guys what it kind of looks like on um it, i mean it is an exotic necklace it is something that you're gonna have to pick your outfits a little bit carefully with but it's still something yet that you can definitely find its place for so this might not be the outfit that i would wear it with but let's say it was so you guys can kind of see what it looks like on it's in really good shape it hasn't been worn out i think i just tried it on to put it on my neck to just check the length of it um by the way just so you guys know the length the length is somewhere between 21 and 22 ish inches um i laid it out on my bed and used a ruler maybe it's a little bit longer if it's hanging lower but you guys can tell me the exact measurements but that was what I was able to find. And so it's a nice silver color, about the same color as other necklaces that you would wear. And it's really thick. And some of you guys might be wondering how heavy it is. It's pretty heavy. It's definitely a heavy necklace. Um, I'm not someone who has like a bunch of huge chains that I just wear everywhere, but it is a heavy necklace nonetheless. And you guys can tell in person. I don't know if you guys can tell too much by the camera, but you can easily see the monogram all over it, or else you're gonna see some sort of engravings. And once you look a little bit closer, you can look tell it's the Louis Vuitton monogram on it. But it easily goes on, easily goes off. Um, and it seems like it would stay in good shape for a while, as long as you're careful with it. Um, but yeah, um, I'll just give you guys another quick look at it. So even if you guys are a little bit skinnier like me, or you guys are kind of big boys, this should fit. I mean, 22 inches is a lot. I mean, 22 inches is basically to like the middle of my chest in between like my nipple and like where my chest starts. Um, and yeah, when I, I was beginning to talk a little bit about how I would wear this, I would definitely wear it with something a little bit more exotic like a little bit more standout like those of you guys who wears who wear like the more oversized clothing it seems like it would go with that or if you guys kind of have a um a biker like slick back look this might go with it a little bit too but you really got to find your way to wear it but if you guys are looking to wear your louis vuitton necklace i would say that this is the easiest one to wear out of most of the necklaces reviewed and I would also prefer this over the bracelets because the bracelets are about this size as well and they just look huge um, and then be careful when you're buying um, the necklaces from other people because one of the dead giveaways if you they're fake is um, certain ones such as the patches one I had someone send me a fake patches necklace that I was gonna buy off him and it was completely fake because it didn't have the reference number this one might not have the reference number on it um i can't really find it right now but i know this one is real i had someone get it from the retailer and i obviously have the receipt but that could be a dead giveaway if you guys are looking at the patches necklaces and also on the bracelets i believe those ones have it as well and then when, if you guys are wondering what i'm talking about when i say the patches i'm talking about the um exotic colored crystal um, Louis Vuitton necklaces and bracelets that they released along with these. So if you guys have any questions about this necklace, make sure to leave it down in the comments. I've been replying to you guys, uh, even though I don't get that many comments because my channel is a little bit smaller. But uh, if you guys are looking to buy anything, hype, streetwear, um, designer, watches, whatever, uh, make sure to message me on Instagram at Connor.Langley and I'll be happy to help you guys out. And if you guys got any insight out of this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.